teaching better crafts Rachel here hope you're all well so I'm just carrying on today with the um, altar journal for the giveaway um, I've done a couple of pages uh, since the last video because um, I was just on a roll so while the video was uploading I carried on um, so just to quickly recap what we've done so far um, so of course we've got this lovely first um, spread here um, and then this one here with the little bits of fabric then this one here <coughs> excuse me sorry with the lovely papers from line dot arrow and i've added in a little bit of washi because um some of the papers are starting to lift on the edge so just washy that down to stop any issues there um and then on this one i've added some of that uh, painted coffee dye paper that i did with the chocolate and the coffee and the cinnamon and lord knows what else ended up in there that night <laughs> um and i've washed it down the center there as well and then i used um some of the papers then i think these are from uh marcy coates designs yes they are um so i did a bit of a collage there with some of those lovely um uh christmas papers that she had there the craft paper kit um, and then I've used um, Periwinkle Matilda. Daddy's just such a sweet name. I love the name of her shop um, and her channel. I've used her blue kittens uh, or Christmas kittens kit. Aren't they cute? Look at that little kitten in there. Um, and then I've added fabric then on the uh, spine. And these are some of her papers as well. So that's those couple of pages done there. So just about to start this next um, double spread now. Uh, and we're just about now to go into, I've just removed a paper clip and we're just going into now the first of the pockets. So um, this will be a pocket. There will be a uh, top, top um, tuck, you know what I mean. There'll be a hole in the top there. Um, so I need to make sure I don't forget to, um, let me keep that out so I remind myself. So if I forget, somebody shout and say, Rachel, you need to do your, because I need to do the, you know. Um, but first, I am going to use these beautiful collage pages from Lilith Paper Paperwitch. Um, aren't they just lovely? When she first did these and she put the pictures of them up in our Facebook group, they were just so eye-catching instantly caught everybody's eye um but they're just so unique they're really really different i love them so we're going to use those <laughs> look at that little girl she's so sweet isn't she um i'm going to use those on this page spread here um and i love this here this is really lovely and i thought we might try and incorporate these these children as well and perhaps we'll have a little bit of so i'm going to break this up a little bit so like i said we've got the fabric in the middle i've gone for the fabric in the middle because it stops the paper puckering. But what I have done is left the fabric loose on the edge there because I'm gonna tuck my papers then underneath, if that makes sense. So let's have a quick look then, without further ado. Um, I quite, oh, I like that there, love that little red car. We need the car, because we've got a car, haven't we, in our kit. So if we try and get that in there, um, ruler. Goodness, if you could see the mess of my desk, it is appalling. It's quite embarrassing actually, but um, it's a work in progress. Oh, there it is. If it was any shinier, it would have had my eye out. Right, so let's just see where we're going to do this. Perhaps I'll take that right the way across there, and then. Um, We'll do that there, I think. And then that'll tuck then just underneath that fabric. So if I just make sure that that's nice and straight. Um, yeah, so I hope you've been enjoying um, the videos that have been on the last couple of days. Um, and don't forget, of course, we've got the special weekend now coming up. Um, starting this weekend, um, it's obviously Thanksgiving weekend for um, our American cousins and um, in honour of that we have got double videos all weekend. So you'll have two on Saturday, 
two on Sunday and I believe two on Monday. Yes, I think that's right. So oh, I've got a list here somewhere. I really should keep it on my desk, shouldn't I? Here we go. Right, let's have a quick look. Who have we got here? So, um, yes, because we've had Marcy now. Um, and then Saturday, we've got Bella. Oh, that's us. we got Bella. Bella's on on Saturday, so don't forget. Then we've got Laurie from Positive Thanksgiving. Then Sunday, you've got Rachel from Roxy Creations and Lynn from Sparkles Creations. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be an awesome day. And then Monday, you've got Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda and Michelle from Junk Journals and More. Oh, my gosh, what a jam-packed weekend. Amazing. So don't forget, six videos, three days. Oh, my goodness, what are we going to do with ourselves? I don't know. I think we just have to have an extra day for the weekend. So the rest of us that don't have Thanksgiving, um, perhaps just, you know, ring the boss Monday morning, say I'm ever sorry, but, you know... Our friends in uh, in the States have got us on having a long weekend and we really need to have a long weekend, you know, to support them really, don't we, you know? That's what friends do. And uh, see if you can get Monday off. That'll keep you up to date then with your craft. Do you know what? I've been catching up on uh, comments this evening. <laughs> oh, I've been laughing. Do you know what? You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the comments you've been leaving. We have had some absolutely amazing comments. All your comments are amazing. Um, but the one lady, she did make me giggle. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember who, whose comment it was. I had that many to do this evening. Um, I was just trying to get as many replied to as I could. Um, but one lady did say on there that... Uh, She's enjoying the video so much that her other obligations are starting to fall behind um, because she's just waiting to see what's going on because <laughs> there's so much happening. I was like, yes, that's it. Forget the housework. Don't worry about it. Don't mind the food shopping. It's all about the craft. It's Christmas. Absolutely. So, yeah, that did make me giggle. So if that was you, thank you very much. The, the, the witty comments that we're having left are just brilliant. They really make my day. Um, and I love reading them so please keep leaving your comments they, they are fab I know the girls all the girls in the collaboration they've all been commenting about their comments and uh, working really hard to try and um, get everybody's reply to because of course they're all uh, they're all off at work in the day and then they're like oh gosh you know coming in and there's loads of comments to answer but they will get through them as quickly as they can um, it's just a lot you, you, you've just all been so amazing and uh yeah we're, lot, we're, we're not used to such a fantastic response so it's been um been quite overwhelming i think um in a good way a really good way everybody's really really enjoying themselves so yes i did make me giggle so yeah big weekend coming up never mind the obligations let's just craft because christmas is coming and uh we, we need to be ready don't we we need to have everything sorted. Okay, so what are we going to put up above here? Now, where's that lovely page? This one here. Let's have a little bit of that on there, I think. Because I love this script. And, oh, we've got Silent Night, my favourite um, cap. Now, hands up. See now who's paying attention. Hands up. Who saw Cheryl's post on... Mm, I want to say it was on um, Tracy Fox's Facebook page, I think, the other morning. And she wrote the most amazing post and she told us all the history of the hymn Silent Night. Now, I'm not going to steal her thunder and tell her story. If you haven't yet seen the post, go and check it out because... I, I was reading it over my breakfast. It was fascinating. And yeah, my gosh, really, um, really, really interesting. Um, I, I had no idea about the history of that carol. And um, it was just lovely to read. So thank you for sharing that, Cheryl, because um, that made my day. It, it is my favourite carol. Um, I, I love Silent Night. And all the more now. So yeah, definitely go and have a read. I'm sure it was on um, um, Tracy Fox's um, Facebook page. 
If I'm wrong, I will double check and update you in the next video, but I'm pretty sure it was on Tracy's Okay, page. I checked. I had it all wrong. Good job I went and double checked. No, it was Angela Kerr's page. Angela Kerr has done um, a freebie digi digital um, on her uh, Facebook page, um, a, a Christmas digital, obviously, hence why we were talking about signing it, and it, it, it's part of that lovely kit she's done there, and that's why um, Cheryl was telling us all about the history of the hymn, Carol, Silent Night. But yeah, it was amazing. So so go to Angela Kerr's Facebook page and check that post out if you haven't read it. But um, really, really fascinating. Certainly made my toast and honey far more interesting that morning. <laughs> right, so back to the page in hand. So as I said, I'm working here with a collage kit designed by um, Daniela from Lilithy the Paper Witch. And it is lovely and it is super Christmassy and I love it. There we are, look. So because I've left that bit of fabric loose there, now I just laid that just underneath. And um, when that glue is dry, I'll just ink on the edges and then I'll pop that down. So that's that side done. It's much easier, look, with the fabric uh, spine because you're not um, worrying about, you know, it curling up or anything. So, yeah, little tip there. Oh, I think we'll have Father Christmas down by here, shall we? Definitely. He's looking very jolly there, isn't he? Certainly is. So I've been watching um, some of Gail's um, old videos. In fact, I've been watching... Uh, her series from 2019 on her altered book just to kind of uh, make sure I'm going down the right road with what I'm doing um, and it's been fascinating it's been, and I tell you something it's been really interesting because she's working with some papers in that, that video and the one kit that she had oh my goodness I was drooling it was absolutely gorgeous with these really red vibrant um, poncettas and I went, oh gosh, I need to find out where that kit's come from. It's gorgeous. When I looked in the description, clicked on the, the one shop and it wasn't there. It was gone. So I was devastated. So I still don't know where it came from because I don't think she actually mentioned the page on the actual video. Um, so yeah, a bit disappointed there, but never mind. Perhaps I'll uh, come across it again a bit later on. Right, I'm wondering, that one I think, I'm going to put a little bit of this now here in the middle just so that there's a bit of writing space there um just in case we'll have a little bit of writing space um so i'm thinking if we could father christmas there and then we'll have that bit there so let me just measure that um but these are lovely pages daniela really lovely and um just the right colors that i wanted for this page I'm uh, enjoying working with all these different kits. I mean, I hope you all saw the last video. Um, if you haven't seen the last video, I'll just give you a quick recap. I am working here with kits from um, some of the girls who are in the Christmas collaboration. Some of them also design their own digi pages um, and have an Etsy shop. And they very kindly donated um, some of their Christmas kits to you guys so that I could put them into um, a journal, the, the journal, into the giveaway journal. So this giveaway journal has turned into a real eclectic mix of designers and crafts, which is going to be amazing. And not only that, but these girls are super duper fantastic and I love them all. They're fabulous. And um, a few of them have sent me as well um the makes that they are making in their videos so that i can put them into the journal because i've obviously been unwell and missed um a load of time when i was planning to craft along with them i didn't get to do that with a lot of it so um a lot of them have, a load of them have sent me the actual makes from their videos as well to go in so this, this is going to be a real real live keepsake for you um 
whoever wins this is going to be very, very, very fortunate. <laughs> going from the words of uh, the comments that have been left. So how do you win this journal? So if you haven't seen the first video of the A to Z collaboration, why not? That's the first question. No, I'm kidding. No, but if you if you've come somehow into the collaboration and missed the first video that explained what it was all about, um, in the first video I tell you how you can win this journal. So if you haven't seen that, I will now explain. Uh, we we are making the journal. Um, initially, my plan was to craft along with the videos and uh, make a journal in, um, you know, with my take on different projects and then do a giveaway um, for my video because I'm the last video of the collaboration um, in order to, but of course as I was just explaining I've been ill so I'm a bit behind so now it's become a real team project and everybody's involved and it's amazing so um, you know this is not just a journal from Rachel Mellor Crafts this is going to be a journal from the collaboration because somehow everybody is in some way or other um, input in uh, be it with their time be it with their designs be it by sending me crafts be it with come on reach moral support they, they are all there 100 percent they've been just fabulous um, so how can you win it? Well, what you've got to do is you need to watch all 34 videos in the collaboration and you need to comment on their video. You need to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. So basically, basically what I'm saying is, um, I just need you to join in with the event, have loads of fun. Um, watch loads of amazing videos, make loads of fabulous crafts, and then just tell them how amazing they've been. It's really not hard, is it? Really not hard at all. So we're all just having loads and loads of fun. The whole thing is just loads of fun. So make sure you don't forget, when you've watched the video, give the guys a like and leave them a comment and just tell them how awesome we know, we know that they all are, because they are all awesome. And I'm just loving it. We've also make sure you go back now, mind to their channels, um, because um, loads of them now have had um, uh, running giveaways. Because obviously, I mean, you know, they're continuing to, to make more videos. Obviously, as their usual part of their routine, um, but they're having giveaways now because they've got an increase in subscribers. So you know, some of them are already at that point now where they, um, where they. Um, you know, giving back already because they're just so grateful that you guys have been really, really fabulous and supportive. Um, th this has just been a huge team effort by everybody, you know, and, and, and you guys out there are part of that team, part of that effort to um, help these girls get their channels off the ground. So it's just been so exciting, so exciting. And um, as I said, some of them are... Uh, hosting giveaways um i'll actually i will try and remember oh. i've got a pen here somewhere i can write this down <laughs> oh i know be with hang on a second let me open my sticky note on here laptops in front of me right okay so i'm gonna do a sticky note now note to rachel uh giveaway links there we are now it's in front of me. I will remember now when I put this video on that I need to include the links to the girls' giveaway videos. So check out my description box because I should have remembered because I've left myself a note. <laughs> it's like tying a knot in your hanky in it. <laughs> Seeing the knot, that would just be useless for me because I would just look at it and think, yeah, I know, but I don't know why it's there. <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah, go check out the giveaways because the giveaway um, that a lot of them are doing is actually a kit that uh, we've made at Rich and Bella Crafts specifically for the event, uh, specifically for the giveaway events. Uh, it's a limited edition kit. 
Um, so it's not available in our shop. You can only get your hands on this kit at the moment by winning it in a giveaway on YouTube, on one of their channels. So, um, you know, it's not just gonna be one winner, each giveaway obviously will have uh, winners, but yeah, that's, um, that's what you need to do. So go and listen to those giveaway videos and um, check out what uh, they're asking you to do to enter. There we go. Oh, I like that spread. That's really, um, that's really festive, isn't it? Yeah, loving that. And then we've got a little bit of writing space here. Now, now what I need to remember is this is a pocket. So I need to, and I wonder if it's going to work now. I think I'm going to let that dry a minute because um, when it's really dry, it's, it's easy to cut okay. isn't it so we're going to do something a little bit different on this page now um but what we're doing here is i'm doing a little um a triple uh or double fold it is um so i've cut some pieces out ready and we're just going to stick these now onto um the pages here <laughs> kit from journals and time it's called forget me not and this is the journal page i absolutely love this kit it is so beautiful but what i'm going to do um the the thing that i have to make i'm going to use the pattern pages as the papers for it i mean just look at that that is just gorgeous isn't it so i'm going to do mandy's project with these pages um, and i'm going to cover the background paper with some of the lovelier, um, the lovely faded um, pages, not that side, I'm going to use this side. And then on this side, I'm going to use this lovely page from the book, The Snowman, because I think it really goes well. And then I'll collage a little bit over the top of that as well. So I'm going to just stick this in uh, first of all, before I do anything else. And I'm going to tuck that right down in there so we shouldn't have any problems with uh, the page rising up. Okay, so what I've done is I cut up one of the other pages and I have now done a nice running stitch with this lovely blue, you can see, sorry, blue thread. Um, and I'm just gonna stitch the, uh, stick those onto the top of the page. Well, not on the top, I'm gonna stick them on top of the page. Like that, there we go. How cool does that look? So now, when I get my make that I've got to do with Mandy's um, Mandy's project. I can hook that then onto these, and it'll stay in place. Actually, though, I think I might make a pocket to go here. Although that being said, there are pockets with this kit. Maybe I'll use one of those. There's a nice big one in there, I think. And I'll pop that on there. There we go, that's it for today. So thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and I hope you found the ideas useful. Um, and I will be back with you all very soon. Take care now, bye-bye. <laughs>